Well, 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 here we are with another chin wag, Steve. Hello, I'm Paul Giamatti, and I'm joined by my co-host and cohort in weirdness, the distinguished philosopher and author, Stephen Asma. Hello, hello, yes, and we have a really great episode for you all today. Yeah, we had so much to talk about on Chinwag, we didn't have a chance to get to everything, so today we bring you more of that chat. Yeah, before we get into it, though, thank you to all our loyal listeners for writing in. We love hearing from you, so please keep it up. Yeah, drop your oddball thoughts, questions, etc. in the comments. And, uh, and don't be stingy. Tell your friends about us. Text them a link to this very podcast right now. They'll thank you for it. They will be eternally grateful. And uh, while you're at it, go to Apple Podcasts and rate and review us, please, and be nice. Be kind. Be gentle. And we might just uh, call you out on the air sometime. Okay. Okay. Enough of that. (laughs) (laughs) Now, where are you, by the way? Where are you Nobody knows. On planet Earth. Okay. Undisclosed location. All right. Got it. Okay. (laughs) Got it. It's the trick of the game. (laughs) Got it. Stay safe. Uh, Stay safe. Stay safe. In a silo. California. No, oh, wait a sir. second. Speaking of, outer, speaking of outer space, what's your take on extraterrestrials? What's your take on extra, extraterrestrial life? Interesting. Yeah. What is your take on, on, on aliens? And have you ever had any experience with them? Uh, unfortunately, uh, I have yet to experience one directly. Uh, I am hoping that that's uh, coming in Act 3. I, uh, <laughs> it's really why I uh, continue to really participate. Uh, I do think it is a weird sign of modern times that I guess we've recently gotten so much evidence that uh, uh, there's like, right, all kinds of files mm-hmm. and there were sort yeah, of... Yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah, like didn't the Pentagon yeah. come out and say like, no, 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 for sure, like that's aliens and everyone kind was of. just... Yeah. Like, hey, wait a or minute. Or they say we the want tech to talk is about not, shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We want to talk about shenanigans of the week. Uh, so it was, uh, I don't, it seems to keep getting buried, but it's pretty fascinating that I think, uh, right, they found some evidence. Yeah, no, I mean, there's all kinds of weird shit coming out now, but you buy yeah. the notion that they're up there. I mean, uh, I guess it seems uh, weird, right? Isn't there that theory you must know, uh, what it's called? Uh that uh, there's a, it seems very improbable that we're alone out here, but yet, yeah. uh, then where are they? Uh, right, yeah. yeah. There's a name for that. Stephen? Yeah. What's well, that called? The, fir- the Fermi paradox? I think the that Fermi might be the Fermi paradox. Fermi paradox. That's what it is. Oh, oh. Yeah. Fermi excuse paradox. me, guys. Boy, I didn't, boy. <laughs> yeah. I, I, guess I'm the, I guess I'm the odd man <laughs> out here. you want to Google this, Paul? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Just, that's sure. You know. No, but I mean, it's, it's definitely, uh, you know, it's... Uh, it, 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 it's a paradox, but it seems it is no longer because now we know that they uh, do exist, but we don't care or something. They're like, well, no, it could, be, modern it could be Chinese tech. It could be like some, not, I wouldn't say Russian tech. They seem to have their hands full. Could be, could be Chinese tech of some kind that what we that don't know, understand. Like it could just be, yeah, they're seeing still, these devices move all oh, like crazy, but they, no one said, or at least the higher ups aren't saying it's alien. They're just saying we don't recognize this shit. Like this, but is it's not doing stuff our... that nobody's been. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't seem likely because it's doing shit nobody's ever been able to do before. Yeah, it seems right? to violate some physics. Yeah, it's, shit, it's, it's violating yeah. all known laws of physics, which is well, you know. Yeah. So that, that that doesn't seem like it's anything man made. Isn't there s- something new going on in China where they can sort of like create their own weather? Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, uh, that I've heard this actually, like yeah. because they can, uh, they can like seed the clouds in a certain yeah. way to like clean up the air like real fast. If some foreign dignitary is coming to visit, they could just fucking yeah. fix the weather and really? then it slips that back again. Wild? Or something. Yeah, well, but I mean, they could did they do that at your local ski resort? They can make it snow and shit like that, can't they? <laughs> I guess it's that's not. True. The, I mean, that's not. Wow. We're obviously not talking about the same thing. The Chinese government yeah. has got something a little bit more yeah, advanced. That's just than a, a snow making. machine. That's yes. like a fucking yeah. motor with like ice chipper. <laughs> That's <laughs> interesting. So it's just like it's not related to the mis- mystery contrails, those things, is it? With oh, the, uh, right, chemtrails. Chemtrails. Right. Thank people you. Love yeah. those. Chemtrails. People, yeah, yeah. People love those. I wish there was enough time in this life to really dig in on all these things. Uh, hey, to be honest, I love all listen, these things. Listen, uh, so do I. And uh, you know, listen. Start. Get yourself a podcast, and then you can do it. You know, anytime you want with oh, luminaries really? such as yourself, you can <laughs> yeah. sit around right. and talk about these things. Do yeah, you believe? Do you believe in? Do you believe in ghosts? Have you had supernatural experiences? Uh, I guess. 
I'm not, I'm not opposed, uh, but also have yet to see the evidence myself. But, you know, whenever anything is really in the, the lexicon, as much as something like ghosts or aliens are, I'm, I'm sort of on board. I'm like, I haven't seen it, but I sort of trust that enough people are into it, that it's probably something. Something uh-huh. is, uh, it's sort of a, you know, uh, who am I to say there is no God type of a yeah, thing. Like, open-minded. Who am I yeah. to say there are no ghosts or aliens mm. or whatever uh-huh. the fuck. I, uh, I would say I don't have enough information. I I haven't had enough uh, time with ghosts or aliens to really know firsthand <laughs> that uh, they are. Don't let or, that stop you. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. Hasn't stopped but, me. But yeah. I love that other people have. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love that we live in a world where they've had alien experiences and ghost experiences. There's I a think lot that's of weird great. shit going on. Yeah, yeah, I do enjoy that. Uh, you were raised very religious from what I read. Like were you? when you were young, is that, uh, and are uh, you yes. still or, or no? Me, a religious, yeah. uh, are you Satanism or religion? I, uh, 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 sure. I, uh, <laughs> all right, maybe I'll join, I guess. Uh, I, uh, and I would say, no, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not anything. I was, I think I wasn't, so much race religious as uh my um my my parents were both already pretty uh insane that's how i emerge uh and but their parents were uh auschwitz and flatbush uh oh, auschwitz on my God. on my mother's side uh although she was born in in paris uh and then but they're uh hungarian and um on my father's side they're sort of uh, uh flatbush but uh uh russian uh and by the time uh, my dad i think is already sixth generation american so uh-huh. Going like back, like so, my grandfather is already a, a like a pilot in uh, the uh, you know uh, American Army in World War II. Um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. But uh, so they're all kind of. Uh, but then my my actual parents are already pretty out there, um, but still. Uh, your generation grandparents, remote. your mother's parents, survivors, and they've. They... Uh, my my grandmother, uh, my maternal grandmother, is a survivor, and. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, grandfather was sort of more of a, like, um, you know, an underground, uh, sort of like a, a war hero character who would wear a, an SS uniform and <laughs> ride oh. the trains and, uh, sort of like, I think he was more in the, uh, like, uh, smuggling, uh, uh, Jews out to safety. It's, uh, uh-huh. yeah, right. so, uh, sure. and, uh, and then they, uh, they met up later, uh, after his wife was, uh, I guess, uh, 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 tortured and uh, uh, died as uh, so his first wife. Um, so uh-huh. it's a happy tale. And no, listen. Uh, and I guess on my father's side uh, comes the only person I'm related to that's famous, uh, Al Jaffe, who whoa, is uh, whoa, 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 yeah, the cartoonist minute. from the back oh. of uh, Mad Magazines. The 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 fold them. What the hell? Did the you call fold them ups. Yeah, the fold them ups in the second. back of How Mad Magazine. You? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now I'm eating so pancakes. What are you yes. having? Are you having like tortellini, or what are you eating? That you're eating pancakes. Mm. Wait a minute. Were those just sitting there the whole time? <laughs> we need video on this. We really what? need video on this one because was it just a plate of pancakes that We're happened to be sitting you. there the whole time? <laughs> Kick it back on a on a sunny Wednesday afternoon with <laughs> a pile of flapjacks and a book on quantum physics. <laughs> yep, it's Wednesday. <laughs> oh, I mean. You've been in like a hundred movies over yeah, 40 years. Yeah, you were years, very prolific, yeah. right? Yeah, but I'm t- you- I just turned 26. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's <laughs> yeah. a, it's a time. And I'm uh, out here looking for a prepper. So, uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, but I made Do a you, lot of movies. Yeah, yeah. You have made a lot of movies. You have made a lot of movies. And are you why gonna, not? Are, are why you slowing down I? now? Are you, yeah, I know. That's the thing. Uh, you like to work. Uh, yes, I am a workaholic. Yes. yes. Yeah. You like yeah. to stay are busy. You? Yeah. I think yeah. I'm. Oh, yeah. I think I've. I think I'm. I'm running out of steam. I think maybe I should you take do? it easy. I'm old. I mean, look at me. Are you? you? Know, I'm old. <laughs> I'm getting there. You know. I'm talk about yeah. the third act. Talk about sliding you into the, into your third act. Yeah. So yeah. it's like you know. Are there aliens there? I'm just asking. I uh, listen. Aliens. This is hence hence doing this whole thing because it's like uh-huh. this is the third act. Is talking about aliens and things like that <laughs> and Bigfoot and, and Bigfoot. Because frankly, I was tired of not talking about Bigfoot. I was tired. Uh, yeah. of- you don't have to tell me. I'm like, no, are we going to talk about it or not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where yeah, is I, where is this guy? Do you have an opinion? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Uh, yeah, I like a blurry photo, so uh, <laughs> I say yes, yes, Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I like a blurry photo. <laughs> hey, we heard that your dog has had psychic work or yeah, something. Yeah, I this, heard your is dog right? consult. You consulted oh, a psychic for no, your dog. That's a that's a that's a typo. It's plastic surgery. Let me show uh, you real beer. And look how gorgeous she is. And uh, this dog is almost fourteen years old. Doesn't look a day over one. Uh, it really did, it does not. I, yeah, I didn't take her to a, a, a plastic surgeon, uh, though I've heard that that's something that people that are, are crazy that's enough to do. That's not actually a thing, is it? Uh, I did have Delia Efron, uh, uh, Nora Efron's uh, partner in crime and sister, uh, gave me her dog psychic because I was like, is Rupier happy? It was very, I was very concerned. And uh, this woman came over and she said, it turns out that Rupier is actually your daughter from a past life. Really? And, uh, yeah, and it gets a little bit heavy and tragic from there. I guess no, that please. kid died. And uh, anyway, Ruth Beer and I have been together for like 13 years now. Wow. I, she was a dog napping. I met her at a Friendsgiving uh, in the East Village. And uh, she was my friend. They ran Sohn's dog. She was uh, such a little troublemaker, running around, trying to and find you turkey. You stole the dog from Dave. It was love at first sight. I was like, who is that little troublemaker, Rupier? Uh -huh. And uh, then he asked me to dog sit. And when he went out of town. <laughs> that was a mistake. I, I had 3,000 photos on like a Blackberry or whatever it was. And and I was like, look at this is my, uh, this is my new kid. You know, like it was like a, a and then. Uh, I gave her back when he came back to town at the coffee shop and weeping. I was weeping. He uh, went out of town again and he said, will you dog watch her again? Uh, and I said, yes. And when he got back to town, I said, that's my dog now. Uh, and so I got him a couple of chihuahuas. It's beautiful. Dog's really cute. Got him cute. a couple of chihuahuas. Everybody you got him in exchange. Him. In exchange, yeah. you gave him two chihuahuas <laughs> for that dog. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. You got the deal. You got you the really, better yeah. deal. You really did get the better end. You got the good end yeah. of that deal. Unbelievable. Yeah. Fine. Fine. I'm told that this is this is it for our time with you. That you need to, you you have a hard out at. Uh, I have a hard out. Do I have a slate or something? Uh, uh, where am I going? Oh, look at this. I guess I'm speaking at a university. Uh, from five thirty <laughs> teaching, to six thirty. Oh, really? Well, what I, do I you just, know? You're actually I just you're giving, I, I sort of <laughs> take it moment to moment over here. Uh, I was looking forward to talking to you guys. Did you like yeah. you're up to something? That was really fun. Likewise, yeah, it was really this fun. Was a Thank good you time. for doing it. We should it. do yeah. it again sometime. Yeah. I mean, it would be enjoyable. Uh, a B side. Welcome yeah. Prepared. Uh, uh, we should do it live yeah, on stage sometime. Okay. Well, listen, you Thank take you. care. You take care Thank now. you, Natasha. Okay, guys. Thanks so much. God Bye. bless. Chinwag is a production of Treefort Media and Touchy Feely Films. Hosted and executive produced by Paul Giamatti and Stephen Asma. Executive producers for Treefort are Kelly Garner and Lisa Ammerman. Dan Carey is executive producer for Touchy Feely. Our series producer is Rachel Whitley Bernstein. Original theme music by Luke Topp, with additional music by Via Mardot. Oscar Guido is our executive in charge of production. Tom Monahan is head of audio for Treefort. Audio production supervision by Matt Dyson. Editing and mixing by Jeff Neal. Animation created by Alex Sokol. Research assistance by Aiden Brooks. Lastly, for more information, go to chinwagpod.fm and find us on Instagram or TikTok at chinwagpod or on Twitter at chinwag underscore pod. <laughs>